Hello tennis guys and tennis ladies and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will show you how to put an overgrip on a tennis racket like a pro. So guys you will need, you will not need, you don't need scissors Why you do it this way. So stay tuned. So guys, first of all, big kudos to Tennis Spin channel, to Harry. He is my favorite tennis YouTuber and I learned this from him. Uh, to be precise, Coach Chris showed this, how to do this, how to do it. And she showed this to Harry on the Tennis Spin channel. So kudos to these guys and especially Harry for making the videos and for Chris, Coach Chris, great guy showing this to us. So uh, replacing an overgrip is kind of easy, but you need scissors for that because you need to cut away the last part of the overgrip because it's usually too long at this position but you don't always have scissors with you when you play a tennis match i i personally i have scissors in my bag some really small scissors to cut the part out but there are few other benefits when you use the technique like the pros do because it's convenient in the sense that you don't need the scissors you don't need to do the stuff the cutting stuff and when you do this when you do it like the pros you will gain some let's say advantage because you create a bigger part of the grip in in the end on the end of the grip where your how is it called small finger rests while you play so as you can see on my technifiber tfx1 racket it is a grip 2 it's a size 2 and i have one over grip it's the contact pro grip I think the thickness of this grip is 0.5 or 0.6 I'm not sure I have them behind me contact pro 0.6 millimeters guys so yeah I will put this over grip on the racket and it's called the players dry and it's 0.4 millimeters is a little bit thinner so I will do it like Rafa Nadal does it with his rackets because he has grip 2 and 2 and he puts two over grips on the racket so guys let's start with it so the great thing about it you don't need scissors that's something that 95% of players they don't have them with me it's always when I when I coach some people they come to me and they say oh can you replace can you show me how to replace the grip and I'm like okay I can show you that but do you have scissors with you and they are like why do you need scissors yes you need scissors to do it correctly but sometimes I ask them if they want to have it like the pros and they are like yeah why not let's try it let's do it like the pros but when you are not used to it it may be a little bit difficult at the beginning so i will show you that but when you get used to it it's not that bad you just you just need time for it and don't rush it if you do it during a match then probably the best uh, way or best time when you put put it on is between the sets 
where you have two minutes uh, time but yeah so don't rush it so the secret is that you don't start with this part with the slimmer part or with the thinner part with the narrower part but you start with the thick part and you need to fold it like this you need to fold it in half and you need to fold it in half that the length is kind of enough to put it on the racket and do it to do two rounds so guys I hope you will see it so I will start here so you can see it I will start like this and it is folded in half and then I'm going around the racket of course there is not the adhesive part so you need to hold it with your fingers and then you need to be careful so one round is finished but you need to do it around one more time so you need to hold it in your hands like this and go around one more time before you start going down so I did it two times so two times it is quite thick as you can see now I will start moving down I hope you will see it I hope you will see it so I will start moving down and bending the grip and then releasing it like this and after you make like one one round you can go like normal so of course there will be some maybe some bubbles and yeah it can be quite hard when you do it for the first time and actually I did it like two times or three times so not much I use obviously the standard way but it's not that bad so you can do it definitely better than I'm doing it right now so let's go around it a little bit quicker now so the most difficult part is the is the start of the of, of, of doing it so when you start do it really precisely and then you continue like normal so I'm at the end so guys as you can see I finished I finished the racket and there is the adhesive part so I put the adhesive part on the racket and there it holds so there is a small piece that is not covered but this this grip for this racket is really long so it doesn't really matter but if, if this happens to you just start from the beginning once again and save some some overgrip save some more overgrip uh, to get to the finish and cover the whole handle so now I will put the cover the rubber cover on the frame on the handle and yep now it is done so guys there you have it and if you look at the grip now oh there is some some more plastic plastic thing that's one of the things that 
I don't like on the Technifiber overgrips. They there there seems to stay these the, the, the plastic that covers the overgrip and it stays on the on the writing. So there is the Technifiber logo and it always stays there. So you need to peel it off. Come on. I already uh, said that to Technifiber they should improve it. I, to I, I told that to the chief, uh, let's say director of Technifiber in the Czech Republic and he said that they are working on the issue. So as you can see now this part is really thick, is really let's say big and it's much thicker, bigger and it's quite, it's, it's quite pleasant when you can put your small finger on it and it can rest really well and many pros use this technique because they can kind of feel the racket a little bit more and they can uh, also hold the racket a little bit better uh, compared to the let's say normal uh, style of putting an overgrip so guys looks like this if you have two overgrips on the racket and the second overgrip is done with the pro technique so guys it's not bad at all just just try it it feels kind of great and maybe i will i will actually use it all the time because i feel kind of more secure when i hold the racket and maybe this will also help you so guys that was the way how to put an overgrip like a pro on a tennis racket and i was inspired by a tennis guy channel so check the tennis guy channel oh sorry <laughs> that's me the tennis spin channel of course harry check harry he is a fantastic guy very entertaining and he has great content he uploads i believe daily he uploads daily videos he runs his own shop he has a long-term experience i believe over 30 years and great guy great info great new stuff always something new inspiring fresh and entertaining on his channel so check his channel i will put a link on his channel in the description below but it's it's easy just write tennis spin in the search uh, on youtube and there will you find it so i thank harry and chris for inspirational uh, for the inspiration for this video and guys if you like it click the thumbs up button of course and if you didn't click the thumbs down button you can and as always if you want to support my channel just buy me a coffee i already had today my coffee in the morning and it was fantastic as usual with honey no sugar honey so guys thank you for watching and yeah don't forget to enjoy and play tennis every day every time and i will catch you in my next video bye guys